you roll two dice and you want to get his his morale is a six that's the circle six up there in the blue so you want to get a six or less on two dice to get major tom to regain his composure <laughs> okay. it doesn't sound too hard yeah uh, well, no, he didn't. He didn't get it. So they're they're still they're still shaking there. Now, did you okay. Say, oh, you said six or less. Okay, I see. Yeah, six or less. Yeah, six or less. So now, uh, now if you look next door, you see Lieutenant Michael there. Yep. Okay, his morale is a little bit. He's a seven, right. and he also he has see that one right underneath his seven. That's that's his the bonus that he could give to unc stacked with when they're trying to rally so uh, so that's he's that's a minus one it's both for damage checks and for uh rally rolls and all that so you, you lieutenant michael may need to go over there and help major tom out if he's got time i don't know because <laughs> the, the clock runs fast in these scenarios so but uh yeah okay so um uh, let's see i think that's all your guys that are shaking right yep Okay, and my I just had the only guys I think that I've got that are shaken is the vehicle there. Okay, now now some units, including all vehicles, uh, can self rally. Okay, so they they don't have to have a leader to rally. So that vehicle, that Stug, has a morale of six. So I just I need a six or less on two dice to rally the vehicle. Now, what's the indicator that he can uh, self-rally? Oh, um, well, um, it's, I don't think there is an indicator for vehicles because they all can. Okay, there you go. Uh, now, on, on uh, counters, um, let's see here. On some of the counters, oh, that gun, why won't that? Sorry, excuse me a minute. I'm having trouble getting... There, that stack separated finally. Let me flip these guys over. And where is it? Where is it? Shaking. Okay. No. Well, no. Some of them. Some of them on the back, it'll say SR. I'm trying to find one that'll do that. Like weapons teams usually self rally. Um, okay. Like, see my anti tank gun there? Um, shaking to hit. Okay, boom. There, the anti tank. Did you see it? I just flipped it over. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. okay so it says SR on there. Yeah. So that's a. And then uh, some of the German, like the German SS units, um, they have a special capability which escapes my 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 mind at the moment but uh, i think they can oh wait hang on a minute i've got it here Ugh. some some all all units have different national characteristics that give them you know a little something that's a little a little special um yeah here here we go uh the ss okay uh, in each rally phase, the German player can either attempt to rally one SS unit that is not in a rally-eligible hex or re-roll an unsuccessful rally attempt for one SS unit. Okay. Um, um, and they're also fanatics. So when usually if a unit is shaken and, the, and an enemy unit enters the hex, the melee, there's, the shaken just, just die. But uh, the SS don't. They get a free attempt to rally first uh, before dying in melee. And if they do, then they can melee normally. So, okay. But anyway, my, my, my Stug didn't rally, which is really, 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 really sucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So that's it for rally. And we're... We're ready to ready to rock and roll. You won the initiative, so you get to take the first action. And um, you've got your, um, of course, you got your your infantry out there that you can activate. You've got your vehicles. You got your mortars, and you've got your off map artillery. 
uh, or remember that you have to spot something. You have to not only do you have to have a line of sight to something to fire to call in the artillery, but you also have to have it spotted by an officer who can call in the artillery. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, uh, what would you like to do first? I would like to move Lieutenant Michael into that hex to help everybody rally. There. That's a great idea. <laughs> Okay. Now, uh, well, now, now he's got a squad with him. The squad will have to stay behind because you can only have three squads in, in one hex. Okay. So, it's the stacking limit. So, okay. So Lieutenant Michael goes over there. So he's moved, right? So they're done for this this turn, and it's back to me now. Okay. And what am I going to do? I am going to. Let's see. Do I have? Let me just see here. I need to make it a little my map a little smaller. Get out my LOS thread here and see. Goes through one, two. No, it goes through three. These. Can you see the LOS line I drew? Yes. yes. Your screen. Okay. That shot is blocked because it goes through the scrub. It goes through three hexes of that that scrub stuff there. I can't, I can't remember what they call it, but anyway, it's just just you know junk terrain. Okay, <laughs> it, it, th those are all. Each of those hexes are obstructing terrain, okay. and if you go through, uh, you can go through two of them, and they degrade your shot, but they don't block it. But if it goes through a third one then that shot is blocked so i don't i can't i'm not going to be able to shoot there which i had brush that's what it's called yeah uh, <laughs> anyway um so i was th i was hoping i'd have a shot there but i don't okay so let me just look here for a second got him there okay i best okay that shaken tank it's gonna be um boom 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 shaking vehicles must button have their moving allowance and cannot fire okay all right so i need to get him he needs to get the heck out of dodge is what he needs to do <laughs> before before some other damn american armored piece comes up there and just annihilates him so let's see what's his movement his movement is 10 track movement points and it's half to five so how much is it going to cost him to go through that hedge there let's see hedges hedges cost track units oh plus zero they can just bust right through them okay and okay so uh, one, two, three, and the wheat. How much does it cost the track unit in the wheat? Probably just one. No, two. So, one, two, three, five. No, oh, I can't get there fast enough. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, how about light woods? What's that going to cost him? Four. Man. Oh, boy, I really stuck him out there, didn't I? Whew. Wow. This is not a good situation. Okay, here's what he's going to do. He can't move towards the enemy. Okay, so what he's going to do is he is just going to rotate in place. Uh, worst, worst turn. Facing, okay, face clockwise, yes. He's going to rotate in place like that. Boom. At least so he's not showing his butt to anybody. And that's that. So back to you. Sorry, you, you had to listen to me thinking out loud there, I'm afraid. I actually like that. Because uh, it kind of gives me insight of, of what, you, what you're doing and what you're thinking about there. And uh, kind of oh. makes me a better player. Okay. Well, that's okay. good. Good Thanks deal. All right. About there. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at the tank in the bottom right hand corner there. Yes. Uh huh. His movement. I can't remember. Yep. Okay. If you look at the counter. Yep. Um, okay. Um, the 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 movement is the number with the T after it. That ten T. That ten oh, tracked okay. movement right. points. Okay. And the two red fours are machine guns. The one with the asterisk is three sixty, and the and the other one is um, uh, just you know straight ahead. And then the five is the high explosive equivalent of his shell, how much power it, a sh uh, an HE shell he fired first with. And then down the left-hand side, those are all his armor values for uh, uh, hull and turret. So, or is it turret and hull? Uh, I, I can never remember which way they put them. But <laughs> so does an assault fire? Like a movement fire uh, order. I know it takes two yeah. away from my firepower, but does it take anything away from movement? Um, yeah, yeah. You move. You can move for if you want to uh, assault move. If you get half your movement, and then you can fire with a, a a modifier of two against your shot. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to order this guy in the bottom right here. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, now you face out your two frontal um, hexes there. See, see the, red, the red arrow there? He points to the two hexes that his line of fire goes through. So he, he's got a good frontal arc there, depending on who you want him to face. But, yeah. Now, Sergeant Reiner, he's hidden right now at the Panzerfest. So uh, to see him, I've got to do a spotting roll, correct? Uh, yeah, where is Sergeant Reiner? I'm sorry here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in the woods, and he hasn't moved or fired, so he's, no, nobody has spotted him yet. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. Now you won't you won't be able to fire if you move six, but that's fine. That's fine. You've got you could get half your move, and that's ten. So, yeah. Okay. Great. All righty. So they're ganging up up there. All right. So back to me. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, well, well, well. And that's blocked. And there's my. Dude with the Panzer. Okay, he's gonna stick tight. All right. Um, I am going to boldly, boldly, with great fervor, pass. <laughs> <laughs> because the 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 onus of attack is upon you, and I have learned that when you're in in these lock and load scenarios, passing can be the deadliest weapon of all. <laughs> yes, as with a few other games. Yes. Uh, let's see. So I think we're gonna fire from our button unit here. Oh, okay. Can't see for that button thing in the way. Yeah, who we gonna fire at? if I can see him. Okay. Now, uh, if you're buttoned, you can't spot. Okay. So if you want to activate that unit and try to spot Rainer, you, you, you will have to unbutton, which means that you be, then become vulnerable to small arms fire. It's not horrible, but it, it, it does make a difference. So. Okay. Yeah, buttoned, units, buttoned units can't spot. Unbuttoned units can now, does to unbutton, does that take a movement away? No, no, there's no cost. Okay. And you just right click and take the button. But yeah, there you go. Right. Yep. Now, now he can attempt to spot me. Okay. And uh, let's see now. Well, wait, let's, let's see if this is a good idea or not first. Okay. Because to spot me, since I haven't moved or fired, you need to make a spotting roll. Okay. And I am in. Um, what was that? Light Woods, right? Okay, so I'm going to find the uh, 
Just give me a second here and I'll find the spotting rule for you here. Okay. I, I have to look these things up myself everyone, all the time because I quite honestly, um, <laughs> when I play regularly, I, can, I remember them, but when I haven't played for a little while, I have to look them back up. Okay. Okay. Uh, fire the unit. You have to spot it. Okay. Um, the roll is, let's see. Okay, ba 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 ba. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, the units in blocking terrain are spotted with a one one d six roll of two or less. So you need a, you need a one or a, you have to roll a one or a two to spot him, and um. If the LOS passes through more, or okay, one is added if it passes through the silhouette of <clears throat> degrading terrain. Um, yeah, so yeah, you're gonna need a one to spot him. So um, now it doesn't use your impulse to do that, but only one attempt can be made per friendly impulse, and a unit attempting to spot. It is marked ops complete regardless of the result. Uh, if you do spot them, you can still fire at them then. But um, so, the, yeah, you 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 would have to roll a one. Now you you might want to think about whether you want to do that because that's going to mark your tank ops complete, which means the only other thing he'd be able to do if he fails would, is do opportunity fire. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, this is this is strictly a, you know, we're just playing for fun and to learn, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Uh, hold up right there. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna declare an op fire when you come into that hex there, okay? And uh, with my handy dandy, um, oh, tank gun, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ooh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's flip him over and see what he needs to. Uh, to roll here. Um, okay, here's his two hit. Now, let's see. Range one, two, three. Range is four, right? right. We agree. Okay. So, at, at ranges from zero to seven, I need a nine or less to hit. So, I need to roll a nine or less to hit. All right. Okay. And then, now, do you have your tables handy? I do. Okay. Now, this is an ordnance weapon. Okay. This is not a direct fire weapon. It's an ordnance fire. Well, yeah, it goes on the ordnance. It comes off the ordnance fire table. Okay. So we're going to look at the modifiers for the. Uh, let's look first for the target. The target's moved. It is marked with a move. Okay. Because he was moving. So you'll notice that's a plus one, which in this case is a bad thing for me. Usually, like if on the direct fire, if a target's moving, like if you're firing an infantry and they're moving, the plus one is a good thing for you because it makes it easier to hit them. With ordnance, it's just the opposite. It's harder to hit, which just makes sense. It's harder to hit a moving tank than a stationary tank. Yeah. Yeah. But it's easier to hit moving infantry because you can see them. <laughs> They have a shot at getting at least one of them. Um, and it is, he is in terrain, in terrain with a target modifier. Or is he? Is he in the open there? He is in the open there. Right. Okay. Okay. So he's in the open. Um, now, if you look at the bottom left under firing weapon, it says per hex of degrading terrain, the LOS crosses between the attacker and the target plus one. And I do cross one hex of degrading terrain, which is the brush 
directly in front of my gun there. Right. Okay. So I'm adding one for the brush and one for your movement. Right? Okay. Now, so and I need to roll a nine or less. So the first thing I do is uh, roll to see if I get a hit. Okay. So here's here comes my roll to hit two dice. Where's the two dice? Damn it! Where are they? there they are? Okay. Oh 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 wait! But one one other thing. I'm sorry. One other thing. I've got a leader there, Captain Vice, right? In that hex. Yep. Okay. He can choose to use his uh, modifier of one to assist with this shot. Uh, and I think he will. <laughs> okay. okay. So uh, that gives me a, that takes me down to a plus one. Now plus one to, to, to chart again. It's a range of seven or less. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't remember how that's laid out. That uh, fire table on the back. Oh, okay. The, the top row are the ranges. Right. Okay. Uh, so the first column, uh, the, the, the number is seven. That means from range 0 to 7, and then the next column is 8 to 14, and then the next column is greater than 14 out to 28. And then the, the, the middle numbers, the, the numbers in the, in the row going across in the middle, those are the two hit numbers, okay. but you need to roll on two dice or less to hit. And then the bottom numbers are the penetration power, which we're going to compare if you if we do get a hit, we're going to compare that to the armor value in the part of the tank that we hit. Okay, so the nine and then mm -hmm. minus one for the terrain brings it down to eight, and the movement brings it down to seven. Uh, well, basically, I I need I it, 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 it it's just the other way. You, you do it just the other way around, but yeah, essentially, yeah, I have to. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna be adding two, trying to get a nine, right. but since I'm throwing my leader in. He he take he gives me a minus one on an ordnance fire, okay. so I'm just adding one to get a nine or less. Okay. Okay. So basically, I I want to roll an eight or less. Yeah. Okay. So, so here we go. Here's my roll. Nine and one's ten. I missed. Total whiff. Okay. Did not. Didn't hit you. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, he gets Mark fired, and I'm going to, oh, no, not all of them here. That's one thing I don't care for so much about. But I'm going to put everybody that has the fired marker on them at the bottom of the stack there. Now, although, now the whole hex, let's see, he's, he goes down. Okay, the diehard thing goes down because that's with... My cap, he's not shaking. Damn it. Okay, he goes down. And then up two. Okay. And then this goes down. One, two, three. Boom. And they're not shaking. I, I, I had them all highlighted when I hit the shaking thing. Okay, there. So now that hex, uh, you can tell that my my AT gun is marked fired and my captain is marked fired so I can't use his bonus again uh, everybody's still in the foxhole but the infantry squad on top is still eligible to fire right okay and I'm gonna put a spotted marker on there just uh, just so you can remember that that hex is spotted because I did fire out of there. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. Am I talking too much? No, no, no. You're doing great. Okay. Okay. Um, I get so into it, and I <laughs> sometimes I forget people. Sometimes people get mad because they think I'm treating them like a, they're idiots or something. And I, I will be the first to tell you that I am a complete idiot. So. Mm. I, Me I, too. I enjoy listening to uh, what you're thinking about and stuff. So. Okay. Well. I, the, the, the thing about myself that uh, the older I get, I am more profoundly impressed every day with one characteristic of myself, and that is my ignorance. <laughs> 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 the 
the older I get, the more I know I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> I would certainly have explored with with considerably more interest and aggression the miracle of compound interest. <laughs> anyway, okay, back to you. Uh, well, no, no, that was my that was an opportunity fire, right? So now, were, were you? Yeah, were you finished with your movement there? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Now. Yeah. Okay, so it is back to me, then, because that was opportunity fire. Let me check. I have a deadly hero out there. What is that deadly? Yes, I do. The deadly, the card is over here on the side of the map. Yep, I just found it. Okay. Yeah, he just adds one to his firepower. That's, that's not, not that big a deal. That's, uh, it sounds deadly. Yeah, well, it, it could, he could be. Heroes are deadly, in, particularly in melee. Because okay. they sh they shift the column you're firing on in melee, uh, in your favor. So that that's a and that that can be. I mean that that is a big deal. So um, that's a two hit. Let's see, one range one or two. Okay, so I'm not going to be hitting you with that Panzerfaust from where I am, nor am I going to come out. <laughs> nor am I coming out of there. To go after you? <laughs> no, I'm more than happy to. What's underneath my hero? There, he's in a wooden building. Okay. The one thing I notice this module doesn't have, or at least I can't find it, is the button that makes the counters go away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Delete admin counters. No, that that's at the end of the turn. That's when all the fired and spotted and moved counters go away. Uh, that'll take all of them off. But uh. No, there's no there's no button to uh, you know make the units invisible so you can see the map underneath, which is oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, which is kind of uh, yeah something that would be really kind of handy to have. I'm thinking, but no, I'm going to pass again. So okay, it's all yours. <laughs> all right, we're going to do a move and fire. Okay. Who, who are we doing it with? Ah, oh, there we come. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. And I think we have a line of sight. Right there. Uh, yes. Now, you, yes, you do. Now, you can to get that line of sight. You can either rotate your turret, or you can pivot the whole vehicle. Um. And it does make a difference which you do. Uh, I'm going to rotate the turret. Okay. All right. Um, now, actually, you've got move. You've got plenty of move. Well, you want to face that way, though, because of that stug over there, don't you? Yeah, I see. Okay, so you're going to rotate the turret. Okay. So now we need to see yeah, who you're shooting at, uh, as if I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> the spotted hex. The spotted hex. All right. All right, so here we go. So, uh, first thing you'll want to do is flip your tank over so we can see what the fire table looks like. Oh, well, no, actually, you don't have to do that first. Uh, but, okay, that's good. You did. That's good. Okay, range is one, two, three. Range is only four. So, so, so you, need, you need a nine or less, okay, to hit. Right. Right. Okay. And it's going to go through one hex of degrading terrain, right? Yep. Okay, so that's a plus one. I'm in a ter uh, in terrain with a target modifier. I am in. Uh, I've got two target modifiers actually. I'm in light woods, and I'm in. I have. I'm dug in a foxhole, which does apply to support weapons. They they can be kind of semi dug in. They're not actually in a foxhole, but they've got, what do you call those things they put up, uh, lunettes or whatever, you know, around them. So, let's see. So, okay. Uh, light woods, the terrain modifier for light woods is plus one. Okay, target modifier. is light One for light woods, one for the foxhole. So, that's plus two. And you are using assault movement. So, that's plus two. 
and you turned your turret, right? Yes. Okay, so that's plus one. So you're a plus five. You had a plus five to get your nine or less there. Okay. So you basically you want a four or less. <laughs> okay. Okay. With a one d six. Uh, two. <laughs> two d six. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, you see, you rolled a six. Oh, oh, plus five is eleven. Yeah, okay, yeah, four, yeah. You needed a four or less. Okay, so so the the shell fire doesn't hit me. However, now if you flip your tank back over, let's look at the front and see if he's got any machine guns on him. That's an M10, actually, I think, isn't it? So let me just separate that out. Um, uh, I tell you what, uh, right click and take the turret off of him for just a second, if you don't mind, so we can see if he's got a machine gun. Okay? See how to remove the turret. Right click and hit the. Oh, here I can do it. Uh, right click and. Oh, turret, 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 turret. Well, so what happens if we turn the turret clockwise? No? Okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay, put that back. How do we move the remove the damn turret here? That's a good question. Let me come over here and play with mine a minute. Oh here, I'll play with one that's up here off of the 